the winner of this. What happened, Randy? He said he got it. He said he got it left. It looks. On my cat system, it's only a board left. It looked like his hand kind of jumped around the side. Again, the key staying up the back. Well, he's going to leave the seventh uh, open. That hurts, but it has been a difficult two months for this man. January 17th, his dad passed away. Introduced him to the to the game, got him going on it, and it's been an emotional struggle for him. Well, he said that he was real emotional when he was at home, but when he was out here, it was business as usual. Wants to win this one for his dad. His three brothers at home, Dale, Daryl, and Dean, they kind of kept in touch with him, let him know everything was going on. Taking care of business at home. Oh. Mm. Well, well, his the strength, the strength this week, though, watching him bowl yesterday especially, was his ability to regulate the speeds. Yesterday we saw him just burying it. Earlier in the matches, he had to back off a little bit. You know, the other thing was in his match against Steve Hoskins last night, he said he went through five different bowling balls. It was down 2-1. Finally found one that works. Shot 279-279 to advance. Nice here. Amateur, uh, how they did, Brad Angelo. He was the top amateur, 225 average, his league average is 238. He joined the PBA, he said he was going to join it if he cashed, and he did cash. By the way, Angelo's father, Nin Angelo, finished 12th in the 5th PBA Empire State Open back in 1963. Yeah! Now, Robert Smith is top. We've seen Robert Smith do it all. A couple of months ago, we saw him lofting it over the left gutter cap, playing that deep inside line. Here. Now he's piping it right around the here. fourth, fifth, sixth board. He seems more relaxed than we've seen him in the past. Does he look rela more relaxed to you, Robert? Uh, he seems like he's taking everything in stride. He really does. You know, he's got a great ball reaction. You know, the other thing, we get a shot at his grip. It's called a Sarge Easter grip. It's his full fingertip in his, in his middle finger, and it's a conventional grip in his ring finger. Take a look at that. A grip for his middle finger, no finger insert or grip for his ring finger. What that did was actually lowered his rev rate, too. Right, High-powered player. Good shot here. And cutting down the rev rates so that you can control the change of direction down the lane, the back-end reaction. Just a way to start out. Oh, my! A strike would have put him up by 34, and instead he's opened the door, oh, and he re-racked. What an amazing break this ball. It looks like it's dead flush. The only thing he should have left was maybe a ring 10. Please applaud 710. Watch what happens when this ball goes through the pocket. Jesus. Good one. Oh. Doesn't happen a lot on tour, but when you throw this much power, anything can happen when the ball hits the pins. <laughs> oh. Now the all-time PBA 710 split conversions on national TV. Mark Roth had one at 80. Uh, Mays ahead at 91, and just stay Rook also had it at 91. And then one since then. And he'll stay that way now. Now, if they both strike out, it will be a tie. I like Dave Terry's position right here. Even though he has to strike up the ninth and tenth frame, he'll put all the pressure on Robert's back. Come on. Three more. He knows it. Ball with the pinch high. Remember, he left the big spin on the lane. Eighth frame, or in the seventh frame, rather. Yeah, we we were getting the resuscitator out to Dave Traber after that seventh, where he left it open. Make him work for it. His heart's beating hard now. Take your time. Good point, though. Make him work for it. You know, he's talking to himself, setting himself up mentally, so that when he steps up on the approach, all he has to do is look at a target and throw it. The one thing that I talked about Dave Traber with this morning was back in the day when we saw the lights of Dave Farrell and Tony Westlake. When it came time to throw one for the week, the money shot, you wanted the guys that threw the high hard one. Mm -hmm. And guess what? That's Dave Traber's strong suit. In the 10th, very simple. Needs to strike out with the pressure on Robert Smith, who can only now wait after leaving the 7-10 in the ninth. He got a break in the first frame going that side, not this one. Well, and Dave Traver will be the first to tell you that that was a terrible shot. Mm -hmm. And he just did. Way left of target. Too hard. 
That's around the seventh board. The ball had no chance to get there. Well, he said he threw it too hard. Robert Smith needs to fill 20 pins in the 10th frame to win by one. Spare strike, strike spare. He's a winner. He will advance. Boy, if, if he does advance, take it on Jason Couch, get about four more sets of pins. It's going to hurt. 20 pin, pin fill means he just needs to get 20. Spare strike, strike or spare. Two balls, two frames. Got to get the spare. And he'll need the strike. So he's not going to take the easy way into this. And this is no gimme. Watch this ball. A little deflection when it hits the pins. Something that's not real familiar to a Robert Smith shot, given all the power that he has. First things first. Yeah, good How you doing? All right, now we've got a pin in the gutter. There's going to be a little bit of delay here. This may or may not help Robert Smith. But he still needs to fill 10 pins. He has to strike to win by one. Nine spare, or uh, nine. We have a tie. Anything less, Dave Traber wins. Needs a strike to win. This is it. What a great match we had with Norm Duke and Jason Couch. Coming oh, down to the final frame. And we've got another one here. The winner will be bowling for $40,000. Smith is number one among the finalists in strike percentages. And he's got it! Who wants that? Who wants that? Yeah. Come on! Come on! Just a tremendous shot! Tells you all that raw power! That ball just buried in the pocket! Well, who wants some of that is Jason Couch. He is standing in the wings waiting. It is Smith and Couch, two of the heavyweights on the PBA Tour, two of the hardest throwers.